Hello boys and girls. Today, we're gonna be learning how to make a game in the Roblox game engine. I've been making games in Unity, professional game engine for a few years. I've seen Roblox and they're making some crazy junk. I wanna give it a shot, maybe even switch over. Let's go. Being new to Roblox development, I decided to start with an obby. Cause who doesn't like obstacle courses? Ignore my default skin. I know kids don't like no default skins in this. I'm actually one of the best Roblox players in the whole world. Okay. Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. Being able to see a little bit of what Roblox had to offer, I decided to lay out some goals. I want to make a complete game. I want to get familiar with the layout. Maybe even do a little bit of scripting. Let's go. I'm setting a timer for three hours. First off, I got to figure out how to change this skybox because it is horrendous. All right, I just imported a space background. This is a cool way to have skyboxes. So we change the sky. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Let's go for something more colorful. The sky to be blue. We could change the moon? Hell yeah. What the hell? Imagine if that was God. Oh my gosh. We needed a theme for our obby. So I decided to ask chat GPT. Boring. Basic, basic, basic. All right, we're gonna go with medieval castle because this is just good. I found this feature where at a click of a button, you could generate a whole terrain. What? You can't do that in Unity. I also decided to use the Roblox asset store to find a castle. And I would take that thing apart and use it for my own castle. Hey, Hoff, bad mate. Selecting stuff in the Roblox engine and moving stuff around in the hierarchy is very different from in Unity. And I was getting pretty frustrated. It's like trying to get goo off of a sticky ball. Come on, get the beam out of this. I found this one hot key where if you hold control, you could select individual objects. Dude, just click buttons sometimes. And then it made me go on a little adventure to see how many hot keys I could learn. One of my favorite hot keys in Unity is to click F and it'll just zoom into an object. But in Roblox, it does the complete opposite. Drag over the part, F. What is this? I click F, I go into space. I spent maybe like 30 minutes of my three hours just trying to figure out why this was happening. After a lot of trial and error, it turned out that it was the template that I was using. Started a new project with this base plate and it worked just fine. What the heck, man? This made me realize that maybe I should have a little bit more of a foundation of knowledge before I try to start making my first game. So I found a tutorial on the YouTubes. I got what I wished for. We got to go into the code menu, baby. The guy in the video that was explaining Lua, he was a little kid, but he was killing it. Bro, my brain was just saying, okay, this is English. The first script that I wrote, I made my own currency, baby. Ain't that cool? You see this stuff in like every Roblox game and you don't really think about how it's made. That's where the novelty pretty much ended for me because it just turned into a copy competition. You know how when you're taking notes in history class and you just wanna not do it? That's what it felt like. And then I finished the tutorial. He said, all right, let's go on to part two. Whoa, whoa. I didn't know it was gonna be a series. Luckily it was only like three videos, but all three of them were 20 minutes long. And guess what happened, bro? You see that square up there? That means that I'm in play mode. And if you know anything about making games, don't be writing scripts while you're in play mode. Because when you turn it off you lose all your dang progress i pretty much had to copy the whole first tutorial again the other two tutorials are just telling me how to make a gameplay loop after all that happened i failed to realize that i haven't left the code menu in like maybe a month whenever you're following a tutorial if you're just copying code for 20 minutes and you have like a list of errors the probability that you're going to be able to figure that out in a reasonable amount of time is like negative one so but no worries i'm a coding expert and i went through it and i figured it out and we have a complete battle royale Royale sword slicing simulator, baby. I got my boy to come play it with me. You better not be a default skin, bro. I'm not a default. Roblox, Roblox all day. Mm. Bloxburg, Roblox. we doing this okay. Hey. Okay. Roblox. okay. Every single day, I'm gonna uh -huh. play Roblox the day I play today. It made no yes, sense, sir. but it's okay. Okay, please don't fall to the floor. Come on, please don't fall to the floor. 310. Oh man. The game is too fun for us to be able to play it, dude. But did you have fun or not? Yeah, it was good. It was good. I tried to fix it. I think I'm just going to do another project. Subscribe if you want to see it. Thanks for watching.